Clay on the set. Hey everyone, I'm Rafe. And Pootie. And this is... Crystal Ball Review. Crystal Ball Reviews. Crystal Ball Reviews. Very and special today episode. we have a Crystal special Ball episode. Reviews. Yes. We are reviewing a movie this time that we actually have seen. Well, if you don't know... This could be the first one that they're watching. Okay, basically what we usually do is we usually watch trailers and guess what it's going to get on Rotten Tomatoes from a trailer. But however, this time we actually saw the world premiere of... Much Ado About Nothing, the 2012 edition by Joss Whedon. And Joss Whedon. We, uh, we actually only got there like 10 minutes before and um, we didn't think we were going to all get tickets, but then we ended up scalping on the street and getting in. And we sat right behind the actors. It was wonderful. We ended up setting two rows behind Nathan Fillion and like every single actor in the movie. And Nathan mm. Fillion even told me that he thought I was really cool. Yeah, he, he also said I was cool. He thinks both of us are cool. Yeah. He also said that you should subscribe. Anyways. A little bit of news on the station. We've got our first subscriber. Yes. Thank you so much, first subscriber. Ratchet 5. Ratchet 5, our first subscriber. Thank you, Ratchet. Okay, so let's talk about this movie. What did you think? I thought it was amazing. Amazing? Amazing. It, like, it was very good considering how terrible the source material is. Yeah, I haven't even heard, like, he based it on some play. Um, okay, it's based on Much Ado About Nothing. I also liked it a lot. Yes, by... By, by William Shakespeare. Bill Shakespeare. Um, and, and so tell us, uh, why you liked it, Cody. Uh, well, here's the thing about Shakespeare. Shakespeare, like... It's good for its time, but when I'm in it, I'm usually bored. But this Shakespeare, like, he took it, he made it easily understandable for anyone in the audience, uh, and he made it funny. It was actually one of the funniest comedies I've seen all year, probably. But why was... Okay, so, so it is a comedy, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, what's it called? Much Ado But Nothing, the original, is, was originally a comedy, but obviously... It's not really as cutting edge as like the new South Parks yeah. and like How I Met Your Mother. Oh, that's a bad example. Ted. Ted. Yeah. So um, it was really funny, but I didn't find myself laughing so much at the actual lines of the play, you know? Yeah. It wasn't really, ex with the exception of Dogberry, who Nathan Fillion played, it wasn't really about the lines in the play. It was about the characters' reactions or... So, a lot of the jokes in it were actually not in the original script, but it was funny stuff that he put in, so, um, when the guy was supposed to be hiding in the bushes, so well, we could hear... Dennis playing the main character. The main character's supposed Benedict. to be hiding in the bushes to overhear what's going on, but, like, they had him, like, ridiculous... It doesn't sound that funny to say it, but, like, they had him doing, like, ridiculous things and hiding in, like, very open and obvious scenarios, yes. so, like, he should have clearly been able to be That was probably seen. the funniest scene. Wait until you see it, it'll be much funnier. <laughs> The funniest part, and this is a bit of a spoiler, I guess. Don't say it. The funniest line in the movie. Well, it's not really a spoiler because it's Shakespeare. Yeah. Shakespeare spoiler. If the you haven't read Much Ado About no, Nothing, spoil it. pause the video. There's one line where it's like, even if you're as ugly as an Ethiope, which is in the original Shakespeare, and Ethiope means black person, but as exactly as he was black saying that. Black person from Ethiopia. I think it just means general black person. Okay. Um, and when, when he said that, there was like a, they put a black person in the shot listening to it. And she like, was like giving a weird look. Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> so, it's hard to describe why it was funny. kept the original text, but... It was hard to describe why it was funny. Almost all the jokes were not actually um, in the Shakespeare. And like some, 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 sometimes they were making fun of Shakespeare a little bit. Like, what was going on? I like, so. I Ray thought that, but I didn't think that was They are making fun of the ridiculous plot to put on a mask. <laughs> oh yeah, that part That part they were actually. Yeah. Where in the play they don't recognize them because they're wearing masks and they just have these ridiculous things on their heads to make it seem like it's not the actual character. Anyways. Right, so another big draw of the movie was the cast is all Joss Whedon regulars uh, that we've seen in other Joss Whedon We're movies. Joss Whedon fans. We're Joss Whedon I, fans. I've seen uh, First Season of Angel, Buffy, Dollhouse. I've seen everything but Dollhouse. Yeah. Um, Firefly, so... Uh, Pretty much every single Joss Whedon person is in it. Every property is actually represented, I think. Every Joss Whedon media property. Right, so this has been going on for a while. Do you want to score The up? nerd from Buffy is in it. Tom Link. Nathan Fillion is in it. Nathan Fillion, Tom Link, Amy Acker. The D second watcher Clark from Buffy Gray, is in it. Who played Agent Phil Coulson in the movie. Um, so it was kind of a love letter, because I guess what happens is, like, 
none of those people on their own could ever be a draw in a movie. No. But if you bring maybe them Nathan all... Nathan Fillion. Nathan Fillion, maybe. But if you bring them all together, it's a pretty serious draw, yeah. you know? Especially if you're like, a Joss Whedon. Seems like you're seeing a movie with lots of famous people when any of those famous people on their own would not... People wouldn't be too yeah, excited about exactly. it. exactly. Let's we'll score it up, though. We'll okay. For a while. What do you think it's going to get? I would venture I to say so. that it's going to get 93 on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, I was going to say 92. I can't imagine hardly any critics not liking this yeah, movie. I don't see anyone not liking Who it. Is, it could get higher. They than might that. be like, oh, uh, like we heard someone there said, oh, the Kenneth Branagh version was better. But, the, but that one, like, other, other, other than that, other than that, that we, we don't see anyone movie. saying negative things. This is this below average. Like, someone could not love it, but I can't see anyone being like, oh, that's terrible. It could get, like, nice. The crowd was exploding in laughter at every joke, so. The thing is, though, the thing about the crowd is, like, those were serious Joss Whedon fans. Yeah, it? but still. They're not serious Shakespeare fans. Though. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to get a very, very high rod on tomato score. And that is Crystal Ball Reviews. Uh, subscribe and, you know, be a friend of ours. Yeah. Don't do that. We don't um, have many friends. Subscribe to us and, you know, watch other videos. All right, thanks for watching. Very excited. Joss Whedon, if you see this. You're great. Send us a message. We like you. You got a nice beard. Nice beard. Also, that nerdy guy from Buffy is cool. Tom Lake. Tom Lake. All right, see you later.